Requirements for newly arrived foreigners, they will now make them pay for a set fee for their COVID-19 lab tests, quarantine, and other treatment services. To give us that update, here is Princess Sinha from our EBC Cambodia Bureau. Hello, Princess. Hello, Alma. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. From yeah. So here are the latest updates about the new rules akin to a travel ban. Local businesses have reacted with confusion over the new, expensive and strict fixed-price quarantine requirements announced by the Ministry of Economy and Finance this week. New requirements will force all newly arrived foreigners to pay a set fee for their COVID-19 lab tests, quarantine, treatment services, and cremation if they die as a result of the virus. The new policy has no end date. The Ministry of Health previously prided itself on stating it would provide free medical treatment for COVID-19 positive victims despite their nationalities. According to the letter issued by the Ministry of Health, even if a foreign visitor tests negative for the virus, if, an if another passenger on a flight tests positive, the traveler will be forced to spend 14 days in state-run isolation at a cost of 1276 US dollars. If the foreign visitors themselves test positive, then they will be forced to a government-selected hospital at $225 per day and $100 for each required virus test. Another $1,500 will be applicable for cremation if the foreigner dies. Many have stated that these costs could be claimed through the insurance as travelers will continue to require $50,000 worth of travel insurance before they, they enter the kingdom. In response to the extreme drop in foreign tourist arrivals, the Ministry of Tourism has attempted to promote domestic tourists to visit the kingdom through implementing new hygiene policies and training for those working in the industry. Back to you, Alma. All right, thank you very much, Princess, for your updates there in Cambodia. Thank you so much to Alma, my reporting from Pilatan, Cambodia. This is Princess Alamanan. We live in interesting times. Thank you, Princess.